Check it out. Press release from NASA. <clears throat> um, Expedition 31 will launch this spring to the International Space Station. Crew members will include Commander Tom Tombo Johnson, astronaut Mike Supernova Novacelic, <laughs> and payload specialist Howard Wolowitz. <laughs> this is going right into my synagogue's newsletter. <laughs> Dude, if, if you're going to be an astronaut, you need to pick a cool nickname. I don't get to pick it. The other guys have to give it to me. Oh, if I had one, it would be Brown Dynamite. <laughs> Are you not listening to me? The other astronauts have to give you your nickname. Are you not looking at me? I am Brown Dynamite. <laughs> Why do you put six sugars in your coffee? Because the cafeteria doesn't offer little packets of methamphetamine. <laughs> Emergency drill night last night, huh? Uh-huh. Well, how do you do? I'll tell you exactly how he did. <laughs> Readiness, unsatisfactory. Follows direction, barely. Attitude, a little too much. <laughs> Overall, not only will he probably die in a fiery inferno, his incessant whining would most certainly spoil everyone else's day. <laughs> you know what? I'm so tired, I can't even think straight. I'm going home. Can one of you guys give this nutbag a ride back later? Well, you can't go home. You have to take me to the dentist at 4 o'clock. Oh, can't you take the bus to the dentist? Of course I can. It's coming back under the residual effects of the anesthesia that's the problem. Uh, two years ago, after a deep gum cleaning, I thought I got on a bus, but somehow wound up on a booze cruise to Mexico. <laughs> they put you under for a cleaning? Yeah, they have to. I'm a biter. <laughs> Okay, whatever, Sheldon, I'm exhausted. I'm not taking you to the dentist. Uh, wrong, sir, wrong. Under section 37B of the roommate agreement, miscellaneous duties, you are obligated to take me to the dentist. See, it's right here after providing a confirmation sniff on questionable dairy products. <laughs> you know what? I am sick of the roommate agreement. <gasps> <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm your roommate, not your chauffeur. You know, I had better things to do yesterday than drive you all the way to the good model train store in Garden Grove because the one in Pasadena has gotten too big for its britches. Well, it has. Ask anybody. I don't care. I'm done. You put the, hold on. Are you saying that you want to invoke Clause 209? I don't know what that is, but if it means I can go home and sleep, then yes. Well, you think carefully here. Clause 209 suspends our friendship and strips down the roommate agreement to its bare essentials. Our responsibilities toward each other would only be rent, utilities, and a perfunctory chin jut of recognition as we pass in the hall. Sup? <laughs> Where do I sign? Right here. Use your finger. There. Done. All right. That's it. We are now no longer companions, boon or otherwise. We are now merely acquaintances. To amend the words of Toy Story, you have not got a friend in me. I'm going to go home and take a nap. Yeah, well, tell it to someone who cares. <laughs>